I think it was about 2006 when I first saw this site, uh, and I remember talking to the then manager, Bill, who was, was quite enthusiastic about being able to do a doormat reintroduction here, and he talked about how he might improve that management, and here we are, uh, what, 15 years later, uh, now looking at actually we can do it because the work that, that Bill has done and started off has actually made this woodland now suitable for us to do this work, which is fantastic. There's been two long-term woodland management plans on this block of woodland in particular that's all been aimed at increasing the light into the wood, increasing the edge structure, doing good things for birds, butterflies, and that same thing works for dormice as well. It was really rewarding to be out here with the volunteers, helping them put the dormice into their release cages um, and seeing them go into such a lovely environment. Today we've been into all the cages, we've put the food in and the water in, uh, we've put some um, woody debris, woody material in so that the dormice have got a climbing frame to play in and live in with some leaves that they can build nests out of. So we're really hoping that over the next few weeks, um, as we monitor the dormice, we'll see some litters born within those cages potentially because there could be some pregnant dormice in there. Um, and we'll also see some of those really um, typical dormice, the, the round nest balls being built um, that they'll be living in. Today is the day that all comes together. The healthy quarantine dormice come into the woodland, into the woodland we've selected. They'll go into soft release cages where they're fed by local volunteers for certainly 10 days um, while they're kept in cages to allow them to familiarise themselves with the woodland. Uh, and then after 10 days, small openings are made in the cages and the dormice are then free to come and go. They'll continue to be fed and given water, um, probably up to mid-August, late August, by which time you'd expect them to be a free living population in the woodland. And then the volunteers will, will over the longer term, will be monitoring the woodland population or monitoring the dormouse population in the woodland to see how it's faring, to see if this, this is another successful reintroduction, which obviously we're, we're, we're very much hoping it will be.